So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the angle. I guess I better get it in frame here since I don't know what I'm doing. What I've done is I've got the half inch collet that I had. I turned me a mandrel and it's tapered a little bit. Um, pretty good to fit on this. So what we're going to do is we just slide it between centers. Like so, which is where we'd set up and about the tension we'd set our standard mandrels on, or the ones we're cutting. This will set back here, and it just needs to set to give us the angle. We don't want to press it too far because it does start to expand the collet, and we don't want to do that. So, what we're going to do is just get us a place that's, that is uh, does not have a slot in it. We've got an indicator set up. Like yay. And we know we're going to rotate the compound because that's what we want to set is this angle here. And we're going to set it off the compound. It's going to be something about like that, I think. Let's loosen up our tool post. Now what we're also dealing with is wearing the lathe, because when we look at it right there and we crank in, we're dead nothing. Now when we back it back out again, we'll get so far and then we'll do that. Now that's movement in the compound itself. That's the, um, that's the compound twisting a little bit. I think I'm pretty happy with that, with all that fiddling around. Got a little bit more contact than our tail stock right there, so there we're free, there we're free. That point's where we're contacting, like I say, we're contacting our our tail stock here. So there we're free, and we're I'm gonna say that taper angle is gonna be fine for what we're doing. It may not be perfect, but uh, there again, we're not in a perfect world here. We know how I feel about a lot of the stuff that that we do with these lays, you know, we say we're getting super precision out of them when we're maybe not getting quite as much as we would like everyone to believe. So let's put this back together, see if we've got enough clearance to uh, get our parts in here, and then we'll go from there. I believe we've got to set our tail stock, or we've got to set our tool post. And uh, and I'm going to go back and hone this tool bit. So we'll be right back.
So there's what we end up with. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all four tapers just like that. And I may polish them just a little bit just to make sure they're smooth. Then I'm going to set it back up. I want to make one final pass along here. Um, high speed, real fine cut. I'm just a little bit oversized on those shafts, which I wanted to be. That's fine. Um, once we get them to dimensions, why, uh, and everything looks pretty good, which I'm not unhappy right now. Why, once everything looks good, then we'll set them up, probably indicate them in the, in the fore jaw on here, and we'll go ahead and drill the back end. Then it's just going to be a matter of parting them off, and uh, we'll have our blanks done. And then we'll go back and decide what we what sizes we need, and uh, make those change or you know finish the finish the calls out. All right, here's the first one done. Now um, with the tapers. Now what I've still got to do, like I say, is I'm going to go back after we finish the. I've got to cut the second one yet, but we'll set it back up. We'll make one more cut across these across this face just to make it in dimension got a little bit of uh, taper cutting in this lathe and I'll probably go over that in a in another little little video because I've got several things that I've uh, have come to mind just as I've been turning here on this on this uh, project so we'll go ahead we'll cut those and then we still got to go back and cut our keyway after we drill the back end so next thing after these will be to drill the back end for our clearance and then take it over the milling machine, we'll cut our keyway, and then we can separate them. Here's our blanks. Got both of them. There. Counterboard in the back. So, next operation is just 8th inch slot, 6 tenths deep. Um, the ones that I've got, they measure actually about inch and 3 quarter inch long. The print shows one, uh, 1 inch. So, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go about inch and a quarter, I guess. There again how picky is it you know it's got a keyway slot now the uh, the print shows eighth inch end mill 
and it looks like it was cut in a vertical mill is what the print shows on the Chinese collets that I've got that I've been comparing to they were they were cut on a horizontal because I can see it taper off at this end so there's probably inch and five eighths something like that of the actual full depth slot and then it tapers up the front where your cutter would have ran out um, doesn't really matter we're going to cut it in the vertical mill I actually thought about setting up the little atlas horizontal and cutting it but I think just for ease of doing it and to, to get them done why well, we're going to just take a eighth inch end mill in the vertical mill Okay. There our keyways are cut. Now the uh, the spec sheet I had called for six tenths deep. Um, I only went five. I think five is going to be plenty. Um, and we could have gotten six out of there, but I wonder if the dimension that was on the drawing is actually right, or if that's just the way it came out. So anyway, there's all four of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is just cut them in half in the hacksaw and then we'll blue them up, uh, lay them out for a length and then just take, take them to the lathe. I'm going to face them off to dimension and, light, and leave a flat right in the middle of it and then we'll just lightly radius the outsides. Well, I'm just about to call it a day. I've got the, the first couple of these roughed out. So here's what the blanks look like. All finished out. There's our slots in them. Now this one's ready to uh, to be bored for whatever diameter I want. Bored, drilled, dreamed, however we decide to do it. And it's going to depend on the size. I'm going to do these in the uh, Atlas lathe where we're going to run them. So that way we know they're indexed to it. Now I've already had this blank set up in the in the lathe. It threads up very nicely. Everything looks good so far. So we'll find out once we once we actually get to fitting it, get it slotted and and in use. We'll make sure we've got our um, got our angles and everything right. Now compared to a standard collet or a, one of the collets that I had, and this is a three eighths, and this is a Chinese import is what this is. There's a slot in it compared to the slot that's in this one and lengthwise the dimensions for overall length on the print shows uh, 2.688 I believe yeah 2.688 the all four of the other collets that I have I got four or five uh, collets of different configurations already that I bought and I believe they're well I know they're all Chinese you know imports they're nothing spectacular but overall length on them is two and three quarters, 2.750. So that's what I cut these two for overall length because this is this is the length that was set up on the Atlas lathe to start with. So um, as I'm building them, we'll just continue to to make them to that dimension because, like I say, this this sets up and and threads back in and acts like it's going to do everything it's supposed to be doing. It uh, it bottoms out fine where it's supposed to on the on the collet chuck. So. Uh, as long as we're concentric with the world, and I believe we are. I have one that was a little bit wonky when I was when I was turning it over in the lathe, but uh, since then I've had it back in and, and rotated them through, and I think they're all going to be fine. We'll we'll check run out on them when we when we get them fitted up. But as long as they properly thread up in the in the lathe, since we're going to bore the the ID on them uh, in the lathe itself, why any anything that was a little bit off I think will be overcome. So I think it'll uh, it'll do fine for the work it's supposed to do. There's our bores in the in the center and uh, everything looks really good. So tomorrow we'll uh, we'll finish fitting them up to blanks and well here's our four blanks. Yeah. 
and I've already checked them in the in the lathe. They all uh, they all thread right in. I don't see any problems here at all. There's when we compare them to a one of the collets that I already had. So I am exceptionally happy with those. They look like they run real true, and everything looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is we'll set them up individually in the in the Atlas turret lathe because we might as well bore them on the on the uh, tool they're going to be used on, and uh, we'll go ahead and set them up in the collet as we need to to um, bore them, and we'll just do them one at a time. I think I've got sizes for either two or three that I'm going to do right now, and uh, we'll go ahead and get them set up, and we'll show a little bit of that probably as we go along. But uh, so far, I'm exceptionally happy with those. They look like they're all going to run true and be within tolerance. So. I think they're going to work real well.